Hi everyone. Hi, it's Eve here from Professional Beauty and I am live with um, Sarah Young, who is the store manager here at South Lodge Bar. Um, South Lodge is in Horsham and opened in March and it's a fabulous spa. It's the sister spa to Penny Hill Park, part of the exclusive hotels collection. Um, so I'm going to be chatting to Sarah today about sustainability in spas, which is obviously a huge topic and is something that is really integral to, um, to South Lodge. And we're also going to be chatting a little bit about aesthetics in spas, which again is quite um, on trend at the moment and looking at how spas can incorporate aesthetic treatments and the challenges. So yeah, Sarah, hi. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> hi everyone. <laughs> so yeah, and um, South Lodge, as, as I said, is, is really kind of built around sustainability. What measures did you take during build phase and planning to make sure that it would be a sustainable spa? Well, it started um, in the beginning when we were doing the concept. Um, we actually had newts, so one of the first things is all the planning side is relocating the newts. Um, but all of the materials are sustainable as well. Um, and one of the biggest things for us was to be um, as, have as little plastic here as possible. So um, in the operation, we have no single-use plastics. Um, we reduce down our footprint paperwork-wise. Everything's really online. Um, we're very computerised um, from like that perspective. Um, with the food, the food in the botanical, which is behind me, um, is sourced locally, so we reduce down our carbon footprints. Um, over on the other side of the resort, we've got a garden. We grow our own vegetables um, as much as possible. The wine we use is local. Um, as much as possible, we've reduced down our footprint. Fantastic. So I suppose um, for existing spas and salons that are open and don't kind of have that option of using sustainability at, at the build stage, at the planning stage, what simple things would you advise that they can do, I suppose, to be more sustainable on a budget? Um, I think a lot of it is actually asking your suppliers for their help. So when we first got our flip-flops, the flip-flops came in a plastic bag. Right, yeah. <laughs> so we just said to them, don't put them in the plastic bag. And, oh, okay. <laughs> Next thing you know, you've saved. Yeah thousands of bags yeah. um, and also you've cut down your costs as well. Um, yeah. The next thing we're just looking at, it's always taken us a little bit longer to do, is paperless consultation okay. using iPads. <coughs> um, you know, a lot of the really good spa systems already have it integrated in. Um, uh, unfortunately ours doesn't, but we're going to get a separate one. And again, it's all that paper that you would normally print and store um, that you can do and that's not too expensive either. So I think it's working with suppliers. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. So asking them. Yeah, ask them for their help. Yeah. And um, South Lodge opened in March this year, yeah. so still fairly new, but you're already making some changes in terms of treatments and, yes. and your offer here. And I know one of the most recent things is to bring in a set of treatments. Yeah, so it's, it's my passion sure. <laughs> behind the scenes. So. Um, one of the things that we've noticed that's really taken off here um, is the beauty side of the business. So um, we have a nail bar uh, where we have like a, a manicure for an hour is £35. Um, we're now um, just about to recruit a hairdresser and open our own salon. Um, so we wanted to become like a one-stop shop. So rather than going um, to you know, your doctor to get your injectables and your hair salon to get your hair and your nail salon, we wanted to bring it all under one roof. Um, and that's what we've done. Um, so um, I set up my business, uh, worked with another doctor, yeah, and some therapist. <laughs> yeah. Sarah also has a business called Aesthetics Effective, yes. which works with spas to bring aesthetic treatments in. Yeah. So there's a partnership here at South Lodge, but also with, with other spas. Yeah, so we're at Penny Hill Park, um, we're also at The Grove, um, and we're looking to go into other spas as well. So we just run weekly clinics. Uh, and bring all those treatments into the spa. Um, for me, it was working with brands like Canyon Ranch in America um, when I worked with the cruise ships and actually recognising that wellness isn't just about yoga and the holistic side. Actually, you know, if you've got skin that you're not really happy with, every day you see that when you brush your teeth. Yeah. So if we can help you to feel like a better version of yourself, um, then that has loads of uh, mental and physical impacts as well. Um, so that's why we integrate it in. And we specifically choose all the treatments to be spa suitable. Okay. So the laser we use is low level, you could go and have a sauna afterwards. Um, the chemical peels, yes, we, that you can go into a sauna, but we do them at the end of the day. And it's all about like working it into the, the guest journey. Yeah. So as we were saying, I suppose traditionally spas might think it is a bit of a challenge to have aesthetics and it's something a bit new and there's perhaps always that perception that spa is very natural, that aesthetics yeah. is not. 
but I suppose it's just integrating it and working out what does work yeah. for the environment. Yeah, and that's the thing. So like we use aluminium MD chemical peels, but they are clean chemical peels. Right. They don't have any nasty chemicals. They don't have any parabens. You know, they still fit that spa mm -hmm. um, environment. You're not going to suddenly find you need to rest for a week because your skin's all going to come off. You know, they're more progressive and um, uh, violent aggressive. And um, so that's one of the things. It's also looking that you get the right doctor. Okay. Um, the doctor we work with is Harley Street uh, plastic surgeon who actually trains other doctors. Okay. So is I think if you're going to do it, you need to do it really well. Sure. Um, especially when you've got members and spa day guests who basically go with what you're saying. Um, so you need to make sure that it's authentic and, and genuine. And, well done. Sure. and then when it comes to things like the injectables, you'd always have a medic to do those. And, yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Like, I mean, we were chatting earlier. Weren't we? yeah. like, I wouldn't. I would never trust someone who doesn't inject on a regular basis. Um, and, and also, if things do go wrong, um, which you, people can have allergies or things like that, but they've got the medical training to be able to deal with an allergy. Yeah. Um, and they always carry um, adrenaline um, and hyaluronic rays as well. Fantastic. And I suppose then, moving forward, do you have any other plans for the spa for the rest of the year? Or yeah. anything else we should know about? Well, we are working obviously to recruit a salon um, so we've got two um, sinks in there already so we can get going with that. Um, so we're looking at the hair, hair, side, hair yeah. side of it. Um, we're looking at launching a sleep program. Oh, yeah, yeah. so um, we're just about to work with a sleep specialist on how to get better sleep So um, and looking to put some podcasts together and some video content that we'll put into the bedrooms as well. So you know there's lots of things that people need and the room you can have a nice duvet you can have a good massage but sometimes if you just can't switch your brain off yeah you don't get good sleep um so that's one of the things we're working on um and also the fitness side um improving um our nutritional we're looking to get physio in um like that whole one-stop shop thing i was saying um yeah looking at physios acupuncture and things so we've got more of a wellness clinic too and that will be generous fantastic okay excellent well thank you very much thank you thanks everyone and we'll see you soon thank you very much